Back here on TYT Sports to talk some tactics this week. There's a huge game, Arsenal versus Tottenham. So we're going to break it down. Arsenal obviously coming off the back of a tough loss against Bayern Munich. And Tottenham seem to be hot in form at the moment. So let's talk some tactics. Okay, so this is a lineup that I think Tottenham should uh, head out against Arsenal. So obviously traveling to the Emirates is a tough place to play. I think that you should bring back in Rose and Walker at the back. I know some things changed up at the week. Uh, during the week, sorry, against Anderlecht. Uh, trusty centre-back pairing who's been playing so well this season. Uh, Ali and Dyer, I think, are, are a great partnership in holding midfield. I'll talk about something that I want to highlight uh, in a minute on my iPad. Some of you guys might have seen me do this before. I try to pretend like I know what I'm talking about on the iPad and do the whole Andy Gray thing, but uh, it works for me so far, so I'll stick to it. Dembele back in, Lamella, Eriksen, and Harry Kane. Okay, so... Traveling to the Emirates, I think this is a perfect time to play Arsenal. I think they're a little wounded, as I mentioned, against Bayern Munich. Now, I'm not saying Tottenham or Bayern Munich, but they do have some similar traits that I think they can uh, emphasize in this game and try and take advantage of. So, at the moment, Arsenal's team news, uh, apparently Bellerin is still a doubt, and I think that's a huge plus for Tottenham, and I'll tell you why in a sec, because Debussy will be playing, so I'll get to that. Uh, and apparently Koscielny is still a doubt as well, so he might not be making a return to the team. So, defensively, they, they are not in full strength at the moment. So what will this mean for Tottenham? Well, it just so happens that Tottenham's star striker, Harry Kane, as much as he is not Robert Lewandowski, some of his uh, dynamic movement is very similar to Lewandowski. So if you're watching Bayern Munich, just imagine uh, this is Lewandowski at the moment, the way I'm touching on here. What he likes to do, uh, Lewandowski, is he doesn't always get the ball. But what he does, specifically when Bayern Munich are attacking down a certain side, he'll make this run which takes away the two centre-backs, splits them to try and cover his run and leaves all this area in here. Which will What this does is this allows for a lot of room in behind and just so happens that Tottenham has a uh, attacking full-back, very similar to that of David Alaba, who would move forward as uh, Rose likes to attack down the left-hand side. So specifically in by, uh, against Arsenal, they found a lot of joy down Arsenal's right-hand side because Debussy coming back in to play in the right-back area I don't think he's fully fit. I don't think he's fully in, uh, I would say, uh, in, in, in the same system that Arsenal is formatting at the moment. He's not exactly cohesive in his movement with them. He's often caught isolated out wide on his own right here. And I think Tottenham can take full advantage of that if Debussy happens to play out wide because Tottenham do have a great uh, width in their attack. Eriksen, I know, likes to cut inside. So what will happen when Harry Kane does this is he'll take Mertesacker, who isn't the, naturally the fastest, no, he'll take him away. And this will allow for this gap and here for Eriksen to come onto that lethal right foot of his or it'll allow him to cut inside and use Danny Rose out wide to put the ball in and drill some crosses across. So we know Tottenham are doing very well from wide areas, but we also know that er whenever you get Eriksen a yard or two of space, that allows for so much uh, I would say, attack and play to develop in there. And as I said, Arsenal at the moment not covering those wide areas as well as Bayern Munich exploited. But another thing that I wanted to touch on, the last attacking thing that I think that Tottenham can utilise. So bringing Dembele back in might limit the, the amount that Ali can push forward. But what Arsenal do not do so well is picking up that trailing midfielder who comes in just at the end. So what happened with Bayern Munich is uh, there was plenty of chances where in the final third, some of their attacking, I think it was Thomas Muller who started a little deeper on these runs, would find so much space in there because what happens with Santi Cazola playing in there with Coughlin, he often gets caught up and is pushed up because we know Ozil's not going to track back as much. So Cazola is pushed up and it's left for Coughlin to try and cover all this area on his own. Now, naturally, that will be Dembele pushing up in there. But Ali actually does a great job of just trailing his run at the last minute and putting it in. You guys will remember his crucial goal in the last game where he caught it on the volley, a sweet strike from him. And I think the same thing can be, can be done against Arsenal. So look for those trailing learn, uh, runs from Ali coming into the edge of the box. Definitely utilise him. Dyer is that anchor that can sit back. Um, and as I mentioned before, it's not going to be an easy task just because Arsenal lost against Bayern. They're still going to come out full flow. But I think this is one of the best chances Tottenham have of getting a result from the Emirates. So my prediction on this game... I think it's going to be 1-1. I think Tottenham will take the lead, but I think Arsenal might come back and tie 1-1. I know I'm on uh, spurred on here, but I, I, I can't just go and agree that they're going to win this game, even if it's not my prediction. My, my livelihood, my reputation's on the line, but I want to know what you guys think. Agree or disagree, let me know in the comment section below. I'll do my best to interact with you guys. Hit me up on Twitter all through the game. I'll be live tweeting the game. So, at Francis underscore Maxwell. Come back over here to TYT Sports. We talk plenty of tactics uh, all over the football world. So, uh, thanks again for having us on, guys. Good luck.